Time now for our big board. Our team of insiders standing by live for more on this morning's top stories. And TJ Holmes always in with us. Oh, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Oh, really? <laughs> Let's get to the first story. Uh, a major mob bust. More than 40 members of high profile crime families arrested in a multi state operation led by the FBI and the NYPD. And we're joined now by former NYPD detective and ABC News contributor Nick Casal. And Nick, I want to ask you what can you tell us about this bust? Why now? Why so big? Well, it was a great bust. Law enforcement put a, a dent in the declining mob. They took a, a couple of good names. Uh, they took Mer uh, Skinny Joe Merlino, who was boss of Philly. They took two Genovese uh, uh, capos. And, you know, it's, it shows that they're still in business. They're still doing racketeering, but everybody's on top of them. It's a good collar. I mean, when you look at the indictment, it, it reads almost as a, a mixture between uh, a gangland movie uh, like Casino or Goodfellas and the Marx Brothers movie with the arrest of, of people like Tony the Cripple and Nick the Wig and Muscles <laughs> and Mustache Pete. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm looking at the list of names. Uh, mustache, Pat, Harpo, Stymie, and then one guy, this one, I don't understand. One guy just decided to go with Brad, which <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite get that one. But let me ask you, Nick. You know, he was he, a, he's the yuppie of the group. He's yeah. the yuppie of the group. So you, you, you talked about the declining mob, and for years that's been the conventional wisdom, that the mob is declining. But, but what, what do these arrests say about that alleged decline? Well, you know, they tell us two things. One is the mob is in decline. The FBI is cut staffing for organized crime investigations from over 100 uh, to less than 40. So has the NYPD. But there are four things you have to remember about the mob. One, they have no problem recruiting people. They still have the ability to corrupt American business, politicians, and law enforcement. They're profitable, but the key is that they rule by fear. So, you know, the, the wise guy is not out of the game. Right. right, they ruled by fear, which is probably why I shouldn't have made fun of Brad. Uh, yeah. Nick, thank you very much. Uh, next, the old bait and click Facebook announcing it's uh, cracking down on misleading clickbait, those sensational headlines seemingly genetically engineered to grab your attention. And ABC's tech contributor, Becky Worley, joins us now. Hey, Becky. Good morning. Uh, clickbait, Dan, you know it's a huge problem for three reasons. And number two will leave you speechless. Uh, you've seen the headlines. <laughs> yeah. When she looked under her couch and saw this, I was shocked. Yeah. Uh, misleading, incomplete headlines. They take you to sites with questionable information. Why is this a problem? Pew Research says 62% of Americans getting news from Facebook. So if a lot of those supposed news links are a huge waste of time, well, a lot of mistrust. And uh, when it comes to news, we all know you have to trust the source. What are they doing, though, Becky, to fight it now? What's different? Well. Yeah, so you've heard about the feed algorithm. What they used to do is they identified clickbait and they pushed it lower based on a user's actions. If a lot of people click back to Facebook immediately or they quickly unliked something, it looked suspicious. But now Facebook telling me they're going to use software analyzing headlights, headlines, kind of like spam filters, pushing those articles out of view so uh, Lara, viewers can click more meaningful links and you won't believe what they do next. Yeah, right. Help. <laughs> I no, can't but, but stop but speaking in what, clickbait headlines. Clickbait headlines. <laughs> but Beck, wouldn't you say that uh, some advice from viewers, try to contain yourself, try to control yourself from clicking on them at all. You, 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 now and we you can, can kind of see tell. the source. Yep. You can always see the source even when it's a great headline. Look at the source and just say no. All right. All right. Becky the tacky.